There's a new art exhibit in town. The Quezon City government recently unveiled this large art installation called Under Paradiso, featuring the country's endangered flora and fauna. Now, the mural can be seen in the pedestrian underpass connecting the Quezon City Hall and Quezon Memorial Circle. And joining us now in the studio to tell us more is Quezon City Administrator Mike Alimuro. Mike, familiar surroundings for you, I'm sure. Yes, it's a pleasure to be back. <laughs> <laughs> it's always great to have you, regardless of which side of the couch you're sitting on. Mike, let's talk about this project here. This is a pretty interesting and very impressive uh, artwork that you guys have put together. Yes, I mean, it, it's a very, it's huge artwork uh, yep. really to promote environmental awareness. Mm -hmm. it's, it's done by about 20 uh, muralists, yep. uh, including international around A.G. Sanyo and, mm -hmm. and, uh, and uh, over 100 volunteers actually contributed to this. Right. I think uh, people need to appreciate the scale of, of what we're talking about. We're seeing some, some uh, pictures on screen. Uh, fantastic stuff. I mean, how did, how did a project like this come about? And so actually, uh, Mayor Joy Belmonte really wanted to uh, increase awareness, and she's a very strong climate uh, advocate. Yeah. And so she wanted to increase awareness and all at the same time beautify mm -hmm. a lot of the places in Quezon City. And so the, the underpass, I mean, we pass it <laughs> regularly yeah, day. Yeah. And it's really one of those that... It's a great reminder. Really, of, of course. It's, it's one of those that... Uh, through quick conversations, I mean, the conversation started in, in February with a Centro Artista with Jay and Marge Ruiz, mm -hmm, and, mm -hmm. and through that, it, it happened very quickly, and a proposal came in on, on how to do this, and, and they agreed on the theme, environmental mm -hmm. awareness, really, right. and promoting uh, nature. Uh, and, and in March, and uh, uh, right out before Holy Week, actually, a month, and it, they were done. It all came together. Yeah. Okay, there's so many aspects to this. I mean, again, we're seeing uh, some, some great uh, sort of uh, a taste of, of what uh, people can find uh, at this uh, large-scale uh, art piece, really. Um, and more than just, uh, you know, a pleasant place to, to, to walk through, it's a great way to sort of... Um, uh, you know, teach yourself about uh, the flora and fauna. If you want uh, more specific information, there, you've actually built in a little bit more info that can be found on QR codes, if I, am I right? Yes, yeah, so, so there are QR codes at the entrances so that mm -hmm. when you come in and you want more awareness on a lot of these things, you can easily do that. Yeah. And some of the artworks actually have the names. I mean, yeah. Things that we're not so familiar with, like the Philippine pangolin, for example. Okay, yeah, <laughs> You're not yeah. so familiar with that. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's great to see. And, and one of the things interesting things about the, the artwork is the, the the artists decided to build the animals quite large. Mm -hmm. I mean, the flora mm -hmm. and fauna, they're, they're huge. Yeah. And it's really basically to send the message that, you know, they're, they're, they're larger than we are and, right. and we, we have to take care of them. And, and so that's the whole concept. So when you come in and you, 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 it's Instagrammable, you, mm -hmm. you take the photo, the, the animals are quite big. Right. I mean, the way we described it, though, you, you know, the, the process went fast. It all came together really quickly. One day it wasn't there and the next day it was. <laughs> yeah, but much. actually, there's quite a bit of effort uh, that, that goes into something like this. Let's talk about the amount of work. Um, you already mentioned the amount of people uh, involved in uh, Cousin City government actually partnered with many artists from uh, Cento Artista Hub, uh, Art Hub, as well as volunteers from Boundless Possibilities Foundation, among others, right. I understand. Yes, I mean, it's a, a, again, a, a hundred volunteers here, really a lot of muralists, mm -hmm. uh, the Centro Artista, the big, uh, really the one that, that helped coordinate a lot of this. Okay. Uh, AG Sanchez Group, uh, uh, Cosmic Clint's there, mm -hmm. Art, Art Attack, and, yeah. and uh, Racateros are there. So it's a lot of people coming together. And I think even people just passing by <laughs> who just wanted to... Picked up a brush and, and, yeah, and, definitely. and laid hands and on I'll it put a well. stroke on it. Right, yeah. okay. Well, th it's a stroke of genius, if, if you ask me. Uh, are we going to see more uh, art installations of, of this type uh, in Quezon City, considering how successful and how uh, well-received this one has been? Yes, and actually, we are looking at the other underpass. There you go. There's another yeah. underpass uh, yeah. connecting the circle and mm -hmm. around the Filco area. But, uh, but also, we've done this in a few other areas, like mm -hmm. uh, in Alley 44 in yeah. um, again, Howa Food Community. Mm -hmm. there's, there's an artwork there. And around the Yamarat Sports Complex, you'll find there's an artwork on, on the walls okay. promoting sports. And we are con constantly looking at other places to do this. And part of it is both awareness, but also beautifying the city. Right. There, there is no shortage of canvas. I think there's a lot of, of uh, blank spaces. Yeah, I was, I mean, I was walking the other day. And there are people Instagramming as soon as they go down. Right. Yeah, right. they'll stop and then take Okay, photo. well, we, we stop and take pictures of a mural. You're probably stopping and taking pictures of blank walls. And thinking, <laughs> the mural would yeah. look pretty good in, right. in this wall over yeah, here. I'm taking pictures of people taking pictures <laughs> just to say, hey, look, this works. All right, well, eyes always open on, on all the beauty there is to see. Congratulations uh, on, on Kansas City's uh, administration's uh, you know, successful effort in, in this mural. And we're looking forward to more uh, efforts to beautify the city. Thank you so much for joining us, Mike. Yeah, it's great you. to have you. It's always.